In this edition of Ask the Doc, I wanted to answer one of the most common questions I get each week on why getting a chiropractic adjustment usually feels good, but never seems to last more than a day or two. In the video, I cover the following. Why does the adjustment feel so good and help pain go away? Why the effects are usually short lasting? Why I never use adjustments in my own practice, even though I have a chiropractic degree? And lastly, what treatments to get done instead of an adjustment that will produce long lasting results. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Dr. Matt Maggio. I am a soft tissue injury treatment expert specifically for neck, shoulder, elbow, and wrist pain. My focus is on finding and then fixing scar tissue and reducing inflammation from chronic injuries without the use of drugs, injections, or surgeries, which does lead to a significant increase in overall functioning, flexibility, and long-lasting pain relief. So I'm back at it for Ask the Doc. Always a quick reminder, you can send any questions directly to me on neck, shoulder, elbow, and wrist injuries. And if my insights can help, I'll make a video for you. And to send those in, uh, all the information is in the show notes or wherever you're consuming this and all the contact to reach out to me directly. So send those questions in and I'll try my best to help. But I get this question a lot and I thought it'd be good to put a full video out and fully answer it. You know, why do chiropractic adjustments feel so good, but never seem to last more than a few days? So the first one is why does the adjustment feel good? And why does the pain temporarily feel better? So basically, if you think in your spinal cord, in your spinal cord that runs up your back, there's this pathway, it's called your lateral spinal thalamic track. And basically, two types of sensations run up and down the spine. One of those is vibration and movement, and the other one is pain. So what happens when you get an adjustment um, in the area and the bone moves, it cavitates, it cracks, whatever they say, what it does is it stimulates those vibration receptors. They're called mechanoreceptors and they start going crazy and they start firing and they're like, wow, this is awesome. And they go crazy. What happens then is it kind of blocks some of that pain and you don't really notice it. The best example that I can give of this is like when you jam your finger in the door, you kind of shake it out like that the pain starts to go away and it feels better. And all it's doing is really is just confusing your brain. So when you get the adjustment, it gets everything going crazy and blocks some pain. So yeah, it does produce a temporary result of like feeling good and feeling like the world is amazing once you get adjusted, but it never really seems to last because it's not actually making a physical change in the tissue. It's kind of playing a trick on the nervous system in the brain and kind of blocks that pain temporarily but it isn't actually doing anything to change what's going on in there. So why are the effects usually short lasting? You know, a lot of people reach out and they're like, you know, I get adjusted maybe once every two weeks. It feels awesome. It feels so good. But always pain usually comes back and I'm ready to go again in another week or two. It's that same thing. Like I said, they're not actually making a physical change in the tissue. So I always look at treatments in under two categories, you know, does it improve the function or does it improve the symptoms? And a lot of treatments out there that only get rid of the symptoms where it temporarily feels better, but doesn't improve the function of the surrounding tissue of the joint, the ligaments, everything around there, it's actually not a treatment because it's not actually getting rid of that problem long term. So if you're just getting rid of the symptoms, but you're not improving the function, that's why nothing is long lasting. That treatment isn't, isn't what I call durable. It isn't long lasting. And really, it doesn't meet the criteria of being a treatment because it's not improving the function long term. So one thing that always throws people off when I talk to them is I tell them I, I do have my doctorate in chiropractic. That's what my license is under. That's what I learned um, in school. But I've never actually done a spinal manipulation in my own practice ever since I got out of school. So back when I was in school, I was about halfway through there and we were going through all the courses and I was learning everything. Um, one thing I loved about my education was we got these awesome um, trainings in anatomy and physiology and how muscles and everything works like awesome. Learned all about that. And I remember asking in a class, you know, the professor was basically saying, 
you know, the bone goes out of place. And then with the adjustment, we put it back in place. And everyone's like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. You know, like the bones out of place, it's interfering with something going on. And it's not allowing that area to be optimally functional. It's like, yeah, okay. And goes out, put it back in place. The bone is like the brick, the brick goes out of place, you put it back in. So I asked a question, I said, you know, doesn't the ligaments and the muscles and all the soft tissue, it's kind of like the mortar of the brick. It's kind of what holds it in place. So why don't we just fix that? Why don't we fix the soft tissue so that the bone doesn't keep going out of place? You know, the teacher kind of looked at me and was like, hmm, interesting question, but you're a chiropractor and your job is to put the bone back in place. We don't deal with that other stuff. And I was like, huh, okay. So started questioning it a little bit more did a lot more of my own training, my own learning, and got really good at just fixing the soft tissue, you know, getting rid of all the bad tissue that's in there. And a lot of times when I'm doing treatments or working in the area in the neck, a lot of times I'll hear like a very gentle like, where that bone will just set back in place. Because a lot of times when you're feeling all that popping and cracking in the bones, in the neck, and it feels temporarily good because it's stimulating those mechanoreceptors, blocking some of that pain, a lot of times the area that really is stuck with all that scar tissue and all that bad tissue isn't moving how it should. And the ones above and below that are the ones that are actually moving a lot and they don't need to move. This is another reason why it only temporarily improves symptoms, but you feel like it's not actually getting to the root cause of what's going on because they're not addressing the actual problem, which is the tissue that is underlying in there. And that's exactly what I do in my own practice. So what to do instead of getting an adjustment. So I talk about this all the time. What I specialize and I focus on is finding and fixing scar tissue. Scar tissue is like glue that gets inside your muscles, makes it really hard for the muscles to be able to stretch and contract. Now, breaking down scar tissue is actually possible with a hands-on type of treatment. Basically, what I'm able to do is get in there very precise, very focused with my hands. And sometimes I do use an instrument and I'm able to break down that scar tissue. As I do that, it breaks free that scar tissue, you get more blood flow, you get more oxygen to the area, the muscle starts getting healthier, more flexible, more stronger, and takes the pressure off of the joint. And that's where that long lasting results come in. Because not only are we getting rid of the thing that is causing the pain, we're actually causing that area to function a heck of a lot better. Now, I'm not anti chiropractic adjustments, I think they're fine. I think they if you want to feel temporarily good that's that's cool go right ahead and get adjusted i don't have any like issues with them what i do have issues is when people continue to go over and over again and they're going for 40 50 60 visits in the hopes of actually getting rid of some type of pain or dysfunction i don't think it's a treatment that can get rid of an actual pain or dysfunction it can help you feel better and if you want that weekly or bi-weekly feeling good, that's totally fine. But if you're dealing with a chronic injury and you have a lot of like horrible neck pain, horrible mid back pain, it might be time to understand that there's a bigger problem going on. And it's that deeper tissue, that deeper scar tissue that's building up and getting that effectively assessed and treated can make a huge difference in getting you functioning better, feeling better, and really just getting long lasting pain relief. So that's all I got for you in the video. Um, in closing, if you have been dealing with any annoying chronic and downright frustrating neck, shoulder, elbow, or wrist pain for, I'd say, at least six months. You've seen lots of other providers and have gotten really no pain relief or improvement in function. Then you can reach out directly to us and get set up with a peak method trained provider to get some real answers about what's going on and get on the path to functioning and feeling a heck of a lot better. All the information for that can be found directly on our website. Appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.